morning YouTube fans Garfield sign on once again uh, so remember those Chevy Volt batteries that we talked about sometime last year um, I did went ahead and take out my um, lead acid battery from this box from about last um, November or so they've been sitting there uh, ever since and also during the same process I've been working on this lithium pack here so this battery pack here is from the uh, Ford Escape it's a 10 kilowatt lithium iron pack from the Ford Escape so if you all remember I had the, um, the Honda Civic Honda Insight battery pack sitting right here so I took that down and installed a 10 kilowatt Ford Escape battery module to the rest of the system up there. So all of that is from the Ford um, Ford Ford C Max, and this is from the um, Ford Escape. And uh, so far, um, the system is working great. And likewise, I um, did some changes to my charge controller. However, um, let me show you in my uh, battery box here. So there they are. Been just been busy working and so no time to shoot any video. But this is the Chevy packs down here. That's um 16 kilowatt of um Chevy Volt battery. And um everything remained the same, same in terms of connection. Just the battery swap over. Yeah, so um, apart from that, um, I took down this inverter here. You can all remember it. I had this connected to the um, Ford, Ford batteries up top there. So I took them down. Inverter worked fine. One problem I was having uh, is from now in the winter time, you know, we've been getting a lot of rain for the past month or so. So it's pretty hard to uh, to charge the battery. So I have no way in charging the battery off house current during you know these dark days of winter. So what did I do? I took it down, took that down, used to be over there, and I bought me one of these hybrid MPP solar inverter charger hybrid grid 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 feeding as well. And uh, it's pretty nice. I love the uh, the features about it, the flexibility, and so forth and so on. And uh, that's the program I'm running right now. I'm still trying to find my way around the program, you know, to uh, figure out my um, setting and so forth and so on. But um, I'm, I'm loving this inverter. So as for the aims, I took away the grid power going to the aims, which I used to have right here. So there's no more grid feed in the aims. 
It's just taken from the Ames. The reason why I took away the grid power from the Ames because I can't use the Ames to charge the lithium pack inside here, which are the Chevy Volts. There is no setting on this for um, for charging my uh, lithium packs. So, um, however, on the um, Flexmax 80, I do have 1895 watts of solar power on the uh, Flexmax 80. And based on the load on it, um, I think I will be good. You know, and um, you know, got enough power to charge that these batteries. So um, that's fine. Either way, if I'm still running into a problem in charging these um, Chevy Volt battery, I could still jump the uh, power from that over to this system down here and have the one MPP solar inverter to charge all the lithium battery. But for right now, the uh, Chevy Volt batteries are standing on its own, meaning the only way of charging it is from the Flexmax 80. Meanwhile, on the, uh, the Ford batteries over here and there, there are two means of charging, which is from this charge controller here and that one there. As for this charge controller, um, I'm not using it right now. I took away the solar panels from it. I had 1,940 watts of solar panel on this. I transfer it to the uh, NPP solar up top. And this remains the same. So there's two sets of panel charging the uh, four batteries over here, which would be this one here for 1,235 watts and uh, the 900 and 1,940 watts of panel that I had in this, it's now in that. So those are charging the Ford batteries uh, in the corner. So guys, once again, you don't have to chase Chevy Volt batteries anymore. You don't have to chase the um, Tesla batteries anymore. You could find these batteries here from the uh, Mountaineer Mercury and the uh, Ford, SEMA, Ford um, Escape. So this is what it's all about here. And there are two sets of battery module in here. You got one here and one over here, and that's the connection. I have two sets of uh, positive up here and two sets of negative. And this is 10 kilowatt right here. So guys, I want you all to bum rush the junkyard. By the way, do you know how much I got this for from the junkyard? I got it for 450 bucks. So guys, all of you run out and rush this junkyard and buy this battery up. In fact, I bought a total of six of these because um, I'm doing two of my friend um, place as well. So this is, this is mine here. And um, there are five, uh, one guy is getting three of these modules and the other guy is getting two of these modules. So uh, I've got everything to do their system at their house. Uh, one guy is gonna use the MPP solar and the next person is gonna use that Outback Radiant um, inverter. So, once again, that's the uh, Ford Escape battery and it's a 10 kilowatt pack. And like I say, um, you guys go out and bum rush the junkyard and uh, hopefully you could get these things. You know, don't sit around and wait on Tesla batteries anymore. And uh, now that I'm saying goodbye to these, I'm going to um, give them to a friend of mine. He wants to get into solar, so um, there are 16 batteries over here. I'm, I'm going to give them to him and um, give him that as well. And one of these, I haven't decided which one I'm going to keep as yet. But for now, there's no solar input in this. 
so that's my system so as you could see um, I'm still playing around the shuttings here but for now um, my system is working great Garfield signing off